One recent acquisition to my collection of instruments here um, is this piano by Playel of Paris. Playel was Chopin's favourite piano builder and uh, I wanted a piano that would play Chopin's music beautifully. This was actually built in 1859, so 10 years after Chopin died. But in fact, it's identical to the pianos that Chopin would have known. And uh, it's a straight strung piano, which means that the, uh, the strings just go literally straight out in front of the player, rather than being overstrung like a modern piano. Unfortunately, at some point during its history, it's had modern strings fitted and it's had modern hammerheads fitted. And one thing that I want to do is to have the original type of strings fitted and the original type of hammerheads fitted. And I think that way I'll be able to recreate the sound that Chopin would have known. Chopin was um, very, very much in favour of these instruments. He particularly loved them. He would tend to play Playels or Erards, but I think Playels were really the pianos closest to his heart. And in fact, one of Chopin's last pianos can be seen at the Cobb Collection at Hatchlands in Surrey. And uh, that piano is still playable. In time, I'd like this instrument to be used for recording of Chopin's music and for other composers of that period. So the work that has to be done on this instrument is, uh, is quite a lot really. Um, new strings, uh, lower tension strings which gives a warmer sound, um, different hammerheads. Modern hammerheads tend to be slightly more compacted, um, bigger and heavier actually than the original hammerheads. Uh, when you play the action on this piano it is actually quite heavy. And for Chopin's music, you know, especially where you get those lovely little cadenzas, um, you want a very light touch. And that's something that we will aim at. There are also various things that need to be done to the case. In a previous restoration, the case has been restored, but it's also got a few little war wounds, such as here on the veneer, where some of the veneer has actually come off. And here you can see there's a scroll which uh, is present on the other side of the keyboard, but here it's come off. Whether that's going to be replaceable or not, I don't know. I hope so. And there are one or two other bits of work on the case. On the side of the case, there are two roses that are twisted in order to fasten the lid when it's down. And when the piano was originally built, it would have had three roses two operating the catches, and then one for decoration on the side. Unfortunately, the one on the side has at some point fallen off, and uh, I'm going to need to get one of those recarved because the chances of finding an original rose that matches the other two are pretty slim. So there are those little bits of work to be done. Um, there's some veneer missing on the lid, which needs to be done. But by and large, this piano looks very original. It's got a nice pattern to it. I always feel with an old piano, you don't want to have it restored so it looks like a new piano. You want it to look as though it's an old piano which has been well looked after. And um, that's very much the skill of the French polish, the French polisher who will uh, do the work to make sure that it doesn't look too pristine and new. So here it is, an 1859 Playel piano, very much like the one that Chopin would have known 10 years earlier. The design didn't change, they were built in exactly the same way. And soon, hopefully, there'll be an instrument that will sound just like the instruments that Chopin knew and which can be used for recording. So here's a little bit of Chopin, just so that you know what it sounds like now. Uh, but it will sound very different when it's restored.